Hello! Hello, hello! Hi! I'm Tara, this is Mike, we are from livingandime.com. Yes, we I are. I am the author of the Dining you on a Dime alive. cookbook, along with my mom, Jill. We're not live? I don't think so. And... We are... Live, it says. Okay. So, today we are making crepes, but we are also talking about answering a couple of viewer questions about what are good grocery prices. Yay. Ooh, what's so, up with your coffee cup there? Your tea they cup. They can't see it. <laughs> there, now they can see it. They could see it. Um, I'll explain that in a little bit. Yes. Um, okay, so, we are making crepes. I am making two kinds of crepes today. I am making a savory crepe and a sweet crepe. What's the difference? And the difference is one is sweet and one is not. And I'm going to show you how to adapt on page 137 right here, crepes, Dining on a Dime cookbook. I'm going to show you how to adapt this recipe to savory crepes if you want to make a savory filling, which I am doing for Mike's dinner this evening. Okay? What? All right. So, Excuse See, me. Mike's going to be surprised. So, when we were over in Europe, crepes are all the big hit over there. And so, um, we got one or two. Ellie mostly did. Um, she got a Nutella one, loved it, it was really good. All right, so for the savory crepes, I'm doing a chicken and mushroom, chicken garlic mushroom um, filling. So I have canned chicken that's left over from a salad that we made. Right here, a little bit right there. I have my garlic chopped up right there. And then I have some mushrooms that are frozen also, okay? So I'm sticking all of that in the pan right here with a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna get that started cooking while I'm making up the crepe batter, okay? Now, for those of you who saw Monday's show, I hit 800 <laughs> subscribers on my new channel. Thank you. So here's the deal. I have all the winners' names picked out, but if we hit 1,000 by the show... By the end of the show? By the end of the show tonight, if we hit 1,000 subscribers, then I'll give away five more books. Woo, all right. I'm in a giving mood tonight. All right. So, crepes, you need, oh, I got everything but the flour. Figures. Versatile um, crepes, all right. All right, so for crepes, these are like stinking simple, and people think they're so fancy and they're so, you know, expensive, but they really aren't. Do you guys like my Scottish, my real Scottish apron made in China? <laughs> But did, but it, did it go through Scotland before it came? It here? did. Yes. I bought it at a real Scottish store. All right. <laughs> okay, so you want to mix all your dry ingredients first. So we got our flour. Now, to adjust this for savory cake crepes, so I'm making savory crepes first. All you do, it's super. Oh. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. I think I'm going to leave this one in my flour so I can see it every day. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Uh, we are just going to leave out the vanilla and sugar to make it savory to start with. Okay. So we've got our, do not do that. We have our baking powder and right here so karen says that looks like a lot of garlic and in big pieces will it stay that way yes mike loves garlic so the more garlic you can put in there the happier he is garlic brings me joy i think you're a vampire <laughs> no wait vampire makes Vampires them go away do, I mean, no that's why i've never seen a, oh, a wait. vampire oh, oh that's garlic, right yeah. so you're protected oh <laughs> yeah okay. do garlic, don't they? okay so <laughs> Yeah. Got those in there. Gonna get my egg in one, and then my other egg in two. 
Jerry All thought right. it was a Christmas apron, but she says, love it nonetheless. Nope, Scottish. All right, then I got my milk right there. I'm gonna turn this down just a bit. And then Okay, get that cooking. <laughs> well, that's okay. a good idea. What? Ruth says I always use my cookbook when your show is on so I can make notes. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant. That's a great idea. That's absolutely brilliant. And guys, Dining on a Dime is back in stock. Isn't that right, Dave? Dave is our shipping department and he's been <laughs> real happy about getting back to shipping. <laughs> Ditching the grind, this is our fourth live show since we got back. Yes. And it's good to see you. It's hard to believe we've been home two weeks already, but we have. Okay, so I'm warming my pan back here that has some oil in it. And you want to whisk your um, crepes until they're smooth, okay? Whoops. Oops, I forgot the butter right there. Okay, there you go. So whisk those until they're smooth. All right, so Dave, we need the camera back on the stove now. All right, so my chicken and mushrooms and garlic is cooking up really nice here. Can't really see it, but okay. Too far. So I have a little bit of oil right here in the pan. Now, if you um, are making this, it would be best to use something like canola oil or margarine instead of butter because as you show up, saw on our video a couple of days ago and if you didn't see it go back a couple of days butter burns when you're cooking things so this is not something where you want to burn your crepes so we are using oil here okay so then we are going to take my handy dandy oh it's kind of big but we'll do that what gauge of milk are we using? Is that vitamin D? Yeah, you I can, just use regular milk. But pretty much huh. any milk should be okay. Oh, for this? For oh, it's crepes. dry milk. For the crepes? Yeah, oh. I use dry. Well, I have my emergency supply of milk. I need to get rotated out. So I've been using dry milk for all of my baking. But usually I'll just we just buy whole milk. I don't believe in none of that skim stuff. So oh, believe in I yourself. Did I miss the drawing for the cookbooks? So No. So... You can go over, I've already picked the first 11 from the first 800 people. If I get a thousand subscribers by the end of the show, I'll pick another five books. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, all right, so I think this is heated up. So you're going to take about a quarter of a cup, give or take. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this. Dave, come down. Come down, come down. Oops, I'm dripping. Okay, so you pour your little bit in just like so and then you're going to swirl it around okay hold on this is going to be hard to see okay see how you swirl it around just like that then you're going to let it cook okay i think i need just a titch more milk can you hand me the milk dave just a titch just a titch yes okay so now we got this cooking and we got our chicken cooking we're doing it good once again this dinner is less than five dollars. Um, we have probably, I would say, two dollar fifty for the savory ones, a dollar or remember. so for the sweet ones, somewhere I don't around there. Having a savory crepe. Well, it's because I don't ever make them. <laughs> I do know that when uh, Ellie and I were in Paris, they had them, and I was tempted to try them. Yeah. <laughs> We've got one fly that will not die. We need Dave's fly patrol. Okay, so then what you do is you take and you flip it over. Okay. Woohoo. Now, usually the first one doesn't turn out. This one's actually not doing too bad, but usually no. the first one does not turn out for me. What you gonna put in them? So I'm putting chicken and mushroom with cream cheese and garlic. In the savory one. In the savory one, and then in the sweet one, we're putting jam and whipped, excuse me, whipped cream 
or as Jack used to like to say, woofed cream. <laughs> Actually, the Corby Desiree, I'm surprised by how cheap these are. The local fair was charging $15 for two little crates. I know! Actually, it's the same with $15. the... Um, $15? Same with the funnel cakes. Oh, that's a rip They're off. a lot cheaper to make yourself. I can make the whole entire dinner for less than two bucks. Everything for less than two bucks. For those asking, I'm sharing the link to Tara's other YouTube channel here, the new one. Okay, so Dave, come down so they can see. Let me just show you again how to do this, all right? Here we go. Super easy. Got your hot pan, pour in your stuff. You can kind of see it swirling in. And swirl it around. You gotta swirl it kind of quick, like that. Okay? You gotta swirl it before it starts cooking. Yes, you gotta swirl it before it starts cooking. Okay, we're getting this, it's almost cooked. Getting down here, so we're gonna let this cook and then we're gonna flip it. And depending on how many crepes you need to ma make, this could be a five minute meal for two or it could take a while. Now, if you're making for just two people, I would cut this down in half and then save the rest for breakfast in the morning. I mean, all the crepe is, guys, is a pancake with more milk. All a waffle is, is a pancake with less milk. They're all three the same recipe, basically. I mean, give or take. There's a little bit of a modification, but it's not really that much, okay? All right, so then, flip it over. Can you see that? Okay, looking good. So Deanna asks, uh, do you not have to chill the batter in this recipe? You chill better for that? No, I never do. <laughs> I thought maybe I missed a step because I haven't made them for so long, but... You would never miss a step. Huh? Oh, yay, Mary loves garlic too. All right. Okay, so now for the savory ones, I'm going to put in my cream cheese. The other one's almost done here. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> All right, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now let's get the savory one here. Get it all. Okay, so here's my mixture. I added my cream cheese, stirring it around. This recipe is not on the site. This is actually a test recipe, and if Mike loves it, the savory one, then it will be in an upcoming book. Which one? I don't know. Okay. Now, I always salt stuff because stuff just does not have enough salt. So, oh. there so you go. Lorraine is asking, how do you know when to turn the crepes over in the pan? When they're lightly browned. So you can just lift up the edge here. I'll show you just a minute. Let me get these savory two, two savory ones made, and then I'll show you how to... Um, is this easier to flip than pancakes? Cheryl says she has a flipping issue. You is it because is it because you're using the nonstick? I use nonstick. I don't know if that matters, but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Ooh. so here's the savory one. Smells good. So you roll the edge, pull it over like this. See, 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 see. Can they see, Dave? Yeah. Okay, flip and roll. Okay, it's called the flip and roll. Okay, there you go. We're doing it again. We're going. We're going. And there you go. Boy, hold on. Then. <laughs> I didn't say it that way in Paris. <laughs> say. So then, let's test, taste test the savory ones. Now, this has never been. <laughs> this recipe's never been tested. <laughs> so you guys are seeing it first here on Living on a Dime. How can you possibly fail with garlic and. Well, see, that's what I, and, and cream cheese, that's what and I kind of figured. Cheese. Okay, guys, come check Mike's reaction. Let's see. Tilt up, camera one. Okay, now you have to give a true reaction. Not that you don't, but. If it's disgusting, you got to vocalize it. <laughs> What's it taste like? Mmm. Man. I'm gluten-free, dairy-free, so I'm I've picking out the I've never had a savory crepe before that. It's awesome, but. Let's see. I was trying to process the savory with the crepe. It's really good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really, really good. good. That's really good. Actually, that same that topping yeah. stuff would be good on pasta too. Here, that's let me have really another good. bite. Okay, so now normally you don't serve savory and sweet at the same meal. Okay, guys, but just just put mm. it on you. 
just for the sake of the show, I want to show you both. So I'm adding my sugar. That is really good. And I'm adding my vanilla. Vanilla. Okay. And sugar. And I'm whisking that around. Is that added and now on we're going to have a sweet one, okay? Is that added on to the savory recipe? Yeah. Same recipe, just, just adding that on, okay? <laughs> All right. So now, once again, we're going to pour it into our hot pan. <laughs> Do the exact same thing as last time. Denise said, Mikey likes it. <laughs> it took me a second to remember what that Did was about. Did you love that commercial when you were a kid? Yes. <laughs> okay, so see, ta-da, right there. She has a flip, let's go back to the flipping problem. So what kind of a flipper do you have? This isn't my favorite one. Our favorite one is about this wide and like this. I don't know where our favorite one is. Is it in the dishwasher? Oh, there it is. Hand me that one. Okay. So this is my favorite one. Make sure you have a flipper that's big enough to get under and flip. That's part of the problem. Um, if you use small flippers, that's not going to do you any good. Um, so like, I would not use this for pancakes. I would use something bigger like the other one. So maybe that's the problem. All right. So here we go, and whoa! Oh dear, I tore the center. Okay, Ooh. got it right there. That one I tore the center. Oh, oh dear. Maybe you should take horrible. it in free. No, I'm just kidding. You never take it in free. That's illegal. Okay. Ellie, the whole time we were in, well, Ellie and I were in Paris for three days, and she just kept wanting to go to crepe places and try different ones from everywhere. That's all she ate. Her favorite was the new Nutella. Ugh, my nose is itching. I forgot to take my allergy medicine today. Now, here's a little tip. So, you may wonder, Tara, why are you using jam packets? Because, I will tell you why. So, <laughs> whenever the kids or us or anybody goes out to eat, and we always have these extra packets, I save the extra ones and put them in this container and leave it in the fridge. Then whenever we need condiments for lunches or whatever, we use them. Well, we haven't been doing lunches, so we've gotten kind of overstocked on them. So I have set these out on the counter, and now when anyone needs a condiment for something, then we um, grab it out of there. Okay, so now I'm putting the jelly on. I'm sharing the uh, recipe periodically in the comments. Yes, livingonadime.com. And if you miss it, you can go to livingonadime.com and it's right on yep. the front page right yep, now. Yep. Okay, now you could also add cream cheese to this. That would be really good. Just mix a little cream cheese with some sugar and vanilla and you can do that. Now, the traditional way that we do it, and I don't know if this is French traditional or just tar traditional, probably just tar traditional, is I just put jam, and whipped cream. Um, uh, so we had somebody ask if you could use almond milk, and I think your mom said yes. Yes, you can. This is one recipe where you can switch almond milk out if you're dairy free. It will work really well. Um, okay, except I can't get the whooped cream. The whooped cream. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. Oh, you want me to go down and show you doing your little flipping and folding? Maybe? Okay, so. We've got the jam on here, and then we take the whipped cream. Of course, you can use real whipped cream. It's just more expensive, and so, yeah. Michelle is wondering if you're gluten-free and dairy-free, what do you cook for yourself when you make us these? Um, <laughs> I eat something totally different, like a fried egg or something. Okay, oh no, I tore it. Okay, so we'll just pretend that this is the way it looks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how all sides look, we promise. Here, lick off your fork. So, so what's in the filling in that one? Just jam and... Um, cream cheese? No. Uh, jam and... Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. <laughs> what do you think? Is your wife a good cook? Yes, man, that is really good. <laughs> I love the strawberry one. Actually, yeah. When the, That's really good. Oh, the other one, um, Alexandra was asking what's in the filling, and I think she meant on the other one. This one is uh, strawberry jam and whipped cream. Okay. And the other one was, um, what was the other one? 
chicken, mushrooms, garlic, and Tar made a kind of a sauce with yeah. all that. Here, you want to try this? That's I bet you'll love it. You're gonna Just love it, try so. it and see. I think you will love it. Give us an honest assessment for everyone. Oops. For the whole world. Oh. Oops. Well, <laughs> put it in your it. mouth. <laughs> As you wipe it all over your had shirt. A, had a chewing malfunction there. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty good, huh? Okay. Tastes like the um the stuff we had in like the pancake things we had yes. in um, Norway. Yep. Just like the pancake things we had in Norway. Yep, basically yeah. the same. <laughs> yes, Miss Miss T, I'm sure the dog would love a crepe flipped in the air. <laughs> just, yeah, but just use that spoon. Okay. Alright, so once again, go oh. back over to my new show and let's see if we've hit so, a thousand subscribers. White, White Picket Fence was asking about this. Are you using metal in a non-stick pan? Yes, I am. What am I doing? Going to your... I do it all the time. Here's the thing. Just be careful. I don't really scratch my pans, but I'm careful. You know, like I'll whip my eggs in there, but I don't scrape the bottom of the pan. I just kind of whip on top. This so, one? yes. Have I hit a thousand subscribers yet? Eight, six, six, oh! Okay. So... For my new channel, guys, Healing Scriptures and Bible Verses, for those of you who are sick and need some encouragement and help sleeping, I have a new YouTube channel. I have all the winners right here up to the 800 subscribers. If I get 1,000, I'll draw five more people. But here they are so far. So Jamie. before I get into um, what should grocery prices cost, let me give the names for this. And you guys need to email me. I'll give the address afterwards. You ready? Here we go. Tanya Roller, Jessica Hodgkinson, Sabrina Aguilera. She already sent me her thing. White Picket Fence! Woo! All right. Backyard Eden. Lucy Dutton was our first, my first subscriber. Really? She was my very first subscriber. Wow. Monique Godbout. Jennifer Horstkamp. Jane Bush. Tiffany J and Kathy Nix. All right. So all you guys email me editor at livingonadime.com and I will send you a dining on a dime cookbook. If we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll draw five more before we end the show. Okay. And then just because I love y'all. Sorry. What? Summer D is asking on the crepes. Are the two batters the same or does the dessert like one add sugar? Yeah, the dessert one adds sugar. That's what I was saying. I put the extra sugar. In. I mean, I put the sugar in later. Yeah. You have normal ones. Or? So the recipe we have here on the site, yeah, which sure. is it? Is it? I forgot. It's the sweet ones. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I just leave out the sugar and the vanilla to make the savory. Ah, gotcha. Okay. All right. Um. So just because I love you all, scroll up. This the scroll. Way? Stop. Who's this person right there? I can't even see who it is. Cindy. Public Pulliam. Pulliam. Right. Sorry, Pulliam. Cindy, Sorry, Cindy, I will send you a book for a giveaway right now. Go to YouTube and we'll, pins, we'll pick somebody from YouTube just because we're in a giveaway uh, mood today. Uh, Editor YouTube. at livingonadime.com. Oh, okay, scroll up. Stop. I don't know who. We, oh, Jamie. I can't give a book to Jamie. Okay, scroll up. Jamie can get what it. Stop. Tracy Horn. Hi, Tracy. Tracy. All right. You get a book, email me, editor at livingonadime.com. All right, so we're going to talk about grocery prices. So this is answering a couple of questions that, or one question and a statement that I got. Dude, can you bring that a little bit closer? Um, one statement and a question that I got about saving on grocery prices. Now, last year, I think it was the September 17th, 2018 show, Whoa, um, that's very precise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been 9, 17, 18. Oh, I should have had a baby that day. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe I could remember their birthday. Like for 20 years, she's been saying, oh, 12, 12, no, where, um, Okay, so this first question is, my fiance and I recently moved to a new state, Georgia, and are really <clears> starting <throat> to keep track of our spending. Stop. And paying all of our debts, including our house. Our grocery bill is something I know we can get down and have started using some of your tips. However, I don't always know what is a good sale price. Do you have a list of grocery items and what they should cost so I know if I'm getting a good deal or not? 
I tried to do a quick search and couldn't find anything. Let me know, Michelle. Okay, so here's the thing. Grocery prices vary across the country and world. And I am going to give you a list of some of the basic items and what I pay for prices and my assistant Heidi pays for prices, okay? Now, this next comment here, this is a comment. It says, my name is Daria and I live in um, Australia. Craneborn, Victoria, Australia. Just finished watching your channel regarding chicken on sale. I have attached an ad. She attached an ad. Okay. As if I wouldn't believe her. I have attached an ad for chicken thighs on sale at Aldi. We will never have chicken price. Do you see where I'm going with this? I, I, I heard never. <laughs> we will never have chicken prices of 77 cents a pound ever in Australia. Well, I would hope not since you're using kilos. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Lowest price for a whole chicken has been $3 a kilo, chicken breast $6 a kilo. Okay. I'm remembering my kinder, gentler me. Okay, this is where you have to get it together, people. Now, <laughs> these kind of emails send Mom and Heidi and Janelle and I. That's four people. <laughs> to go get our medication. And we're not on medication. <laughs> okay, first of all, you have to stop comparing kilos to pounds. They are not the same thing. There are 2.2 pounds in one kilo. Everyone seems to miss that little conversion there. Now, the second thing is, go and see how much Australian dollars are to US dollars. The second thing is, you have a conversion rate. So, just because it says it's $3 a kilo does not mean that it's not the same price in the US. So, the dollar is 67 American cents. So, one Australian dollar is, so let's say sure. three. Well, $3 a kilo would okay. be 150 a pound, right? $3 a kilo. Isn't it two kilos per No, pound? do three. Okay, yeah, dollar fifty. So that's one dollar in American money. What is she hollering about? Well, it says seventy-seven cents a pound, but that would be a dollar, basically, okay. a U.S. dollar. So here's the thing: when you do the conversion rate and you do the <clears> conversion <throat> weight, it is almost the same. Thirty cents a pound or 60 cents, give or take, for a kilo is not that big of a deal and it's not gonna break the bank for most people. So stop comparing prices incorrectly. I have been to the other side of the world as recently as two weeks ago. I know the prices. And I can say without a doubt, Norway has expensive prices but i can also say without a doubt because our really faithful viewer amy t who's been with us for three years now since we've been doing this almost every show she has emailed me prices in perth australia and they are almost the same so yet again it's just another excuse so make sure you do your prices right now sorry my laugh was because somebody said is that cup leaning or am I going bonkers? This is my Dave? cup from Norway. Okay, show Can my you see cup this? from Norway. Can you see this on camera all the way? You want me to zoom in? Okay, yeah. so this is my cup from Bergen, Norway. I'm dreaming, it was 95 here today, so I'm dreaming of going back to Norway where it was 62. <laughs> <laughs> But so <laughs> these cute little old ta uh, old buildings that they have, they're built on top of the sea, and so they move up and down. In Bergen. In Norway. Bergen, Norway, and so this cup is showing that. I know, so cute. Okay. It's kind of a it's a thing there that everybody notes that the buildings are leaning. <laughs> yes. Okay. So first of all, if you're gonna compare prices and you're gonna send me an email trying to prove I'm wrong make sure you get it correct all right because I'm, I'm not kidding guys we get this email or comment several times a week and 
it's just ridiculous because people are not paying attention and this is how you save money is by paying attention now grocery prices I'm gonna run through some of the things that I pay for grocery prices but here's what I do I go and get my local ad you can use the flip ad Heidi recommends that all the time I almost always today I opened it for the show I almost never even open this or turn it over all I look at is the front page and then the little deals of the week right here side thing okay now the four-day sale here is things that they're having on sale Friday through Monday for Labor Day these are extra good Labor Day specials okay this is a great time to catch up to uh, stock up on things like mustard 99 cents our favorite barbecue sauce that we like when it's not homemade is um, Sweet Baby Ray's. Oh yeah. 99 cents. Probably stock up on that. So what I do is <clears throat> I go through and I see what's on sale that I need this week. So this week I might get the mustard and the Sweet Baby Ray's, but other than that, all I'm getting is the grapes. Okay? That's all I'm getting. I have enough meat. The meat is not cheap enough. We don't eat steak. Well, actually for $4.97, maybe I'll get me a steak just because I want to treat for my birthday dinner. Oh yeah. Um, but I, <laughs> that's over a month old. Because uh, some of us were out of the country you were in. Because some you... of you were out of the country on my birthday. Okay, so anyway. You were out of the country too, but we were in a different country than you. So, um, <laughs> Which I thought you would find to be a blessing. I actually did. <laughs> oh, I rather enjoyed my birthday, actually. Okay, so I go through and look on the ads. Now, what are actual prices that I spend on things? You are going to have to keep track for yourself. And what I would say is, what is your problem? Uh, I'm <laughs> That's what you would say. What? Thank you. Brothers are being... <laughs> Jackson's Mom and dad are we away from why us, brothers. Cain and Abel. Okay. <laughs> um, what I do is I already just kind of know what my prices are. I just have shopped for 25 years, little 30 years, actually 30 years, on my own almost. And oh man, wow, have I been on my own for almost 30 years? <laughs> and I just have them memorized now. So, um. Like one thing I know, the soda right here, when we buy soda, this is my stock up price, four for $10, that's $2.50 a case. That's an excellent deal. And then what we'll do is we'll buy several cases, hide it from the kids, and dole it out every now and then. I saw but, that today though, and I was thinking, since we came back from Europe, I was thinking, maybe I'm out of the habit, maybe I shouldn't buy it. <laughs> but here's the thing. This four for ten dollars for people who keep hollering about prices of grocery right right rising. This is the price we paid when we lived in Idaho twenty two year three years ago. Yeah, this is the price we paid in Idaho twenty three years ago. And so money really, was worth a lot more in those days. Yeah, so it was actually more expensive than. Yeah, so you know that's a really good deal. So what I do is. There, I have them memorized, but if you don't, just get yourself a little notebook or there's an app, I'm sure, somewhere for your phone. Just keep a list of milk, bread, the top 15, 20 items you buy all the time at the grocery store. So I know that for me, a regular price for green peppers is 77 cents. A good price is 50 cents and a stock up for the rest of the year price and freeze is 25 cents for peppers, okay? I know bananas are always 59 cents. Occasionally I can get them marked down to 49 cents. I have occasionally picked them up for 10 cents. When that's happened, I've let them ripen, through, thrown them in the freezer and used them for banana bread. Milk, $1.99 a gallon is the best price that we usually have. Two, 19 to 239 is the average price that we pay 
My assistant Heidi can get it for 99 cents at her local gas station slash convenience store. That's for a gallon, okay? Grapes, fruits, vegetables, apples, um, with the exception of bananas, I try to pay no more than 99 cents for all my fruits and vegetables in any way, shape, or form per pound. That's canned, that's frozen, that is um, At the fresh. Department. So if it is less than a dollar a pound, I will usually get it. Now, things like the green peppers, I know 77 cents is about what they are. So I don't buy them frozen for more if they're not. Um, what are some other prices? Hamburger, $1.99 is my sale price. My stock up fill up the freezer price is 99 cents, okay? Um, roasts, $3.49 are the sale price. Anything $3 and under is my stock up and fill the freezer price. Chicken, $1.99 for my average chicken breasts. Anything under $1.99, I'll stock up for a couple of months. If it's $1.49 or less, I will stock up my freezer. Um, pork, 99 cents is a great price for pork for me. Eggs, 99 cents a dozen is the sale price. $1.29 to $1.59, depending on which store I go to, is the regular price. Um, Crystal, so, sorry, Crystal is asking if we have an article with these tips. No. We have, we have similar tips in some yeah. of the other articles. I don't have it completely listed out. And why I have it completely listed it out is because, um, the the prices vary from place to place okay so this is why we hate saying prices because you really need to just see what you can get in your area but here's the thing guys we did a show a little while back there is no place in the united states that does not have good grocery prices Every place that we have looked, including your small towns in Maine, including LA, including Seattle, wherever you want to be, you, all these places that we looked, you could drive within two to three hours and go get really good grocery prices. And it's worth your time. Is it worth it to drive to go get groceries? Yes, it is. Our friend Turid that we went to visit in Norway she drives 12 hours to Sweden and rents an apartment and goes over to Sweden to stock up for the year on groceries because she saves so much money in Sweden versus Norway. It's like 10 times the price, well, six times the price in Norway. So Yeah, so don't give me this excuse that you just can't drive. Now And they stock up then so that they don't have to do it yeah. really frequently. Now, there are going to be people... Why isn't the top slanted too? <laughs> there are going to be people who just don't have a car or for whatever reason cannot drive to a certain place. If that is the case, then you just use what you have within your walking distance or riding the bus or taxi, Uber, whatever, and you use what you have available to you, okay? But think about it. If you have to pay $15 for a taxi and you can go stock up on 40 pounds of meat that you save $2 a pound on, so let's say instead of $4 a pound, it's $2 a pound, that's $80 in saving. You have way saved your taxi fee. So you need to look at those things and see, okay, how can I get the best grocery deal? What can I do to move myself up and start saving more on my grocery bill, okay? Um, bacon, $3.99 a pound is usually the cheapest I can find it for my stock up. Cheese, I try to pay 99 cents for eight ounces. Um, let's see, what are some other things that we buy? Uh, I can't really think right now, but those are kind of the basic general rule. Today I paid $1.99 for five pounds of potatoes. Um, yeah, 
so one thing if you're not in the habit of doing it you may not be aware of what the prices are but you learn after you yeah. kind of keep an eye on it amanda said <clears throat> when you see it's a low price in your area write it down and see if it ever goes lower than that I think that's yeah, a great idea. and when it does go lower, like I found bread for twenty, um, for twenty five cents a, a loaf instead of my normal eighty nine cents or forty nine cents a loaf, I stocked mm. up for several things of bread. What is this? So this is my birthday present from Jamie, and I was going to show everybody while oh. you're getting questions. <laughs> okay. Pretty, pretty. So, what are questions that we have? <clears throat> Wait, for her, from her. From her. Oh. Did I say for her? Oh, I meant from her. I don't know what you said. I just didn't oh, catch it. Okay. I was confused. All right, so questions. It, so Amy says, here's the global math for what's a good price. If regular price is X, then close to half of X is a good price, and less than half of X is generally good enough to stock up. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Sacred Wonders Main says the portion size video was very helpful. Yeah, and that's the <clears> other <throat> thing. Stop eating so much food, and you'll save money on your grocery bill. When was Tara's birthday? It was the end of July. July 29th. <laughs> yep. But we were out of the country then, not doing shows at the so, time. So, well, Mike and Ellie were in Paris for my birthday, and Dave and Jack and I were sitting in a nasty Airbnb. <laughs> so I feel I need to celebrate, you know, for six or eight months to make up for it. Okay. What do you think? How do you feel I about that? I think we that? should send you to your favorite... Uh, Hot spring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you ever go to Costco or bulk stores? No. Not to save money. So I've done shows on this before, but... That was like... <laughs> as no a, hesitation. As a general rule, those places are geared to make you spend more and not less. Yeah, you might get your $5 chicken, but if you get your $5 chicken and you come out with a... With a $20 bag of chicken nuggets because you're saving it doesn't save you anything and so there are a few things that actually save money at those places but quite frankly when I went and looked because I got a membership specifically for our toilet paper um, our toilet paper test um, toilet paper is one thing that is actually cheaper at Costco Trash bags, the kitchen trash bags, are cheaper at Costco. Laundry detergent is cheaper at Costco. I found like 10 things out of the whole place that were actually cheaper. Otherwise, and I know prescriptions, I'm not talking about prescriptions and stuff. If you need it for prescriptions, that's fine, whatever. But glasses are not cheaper. Um, most of that stuff is actually more expensive. So no, I do not recommend wholesale stores. I know a lot of people have them, but I don't recommend it. That is a way to save money. Just like canning. <gasps> I said it. I can't go back now. Just like canning <laughs> does not actually save you money. Costco and Sam's 90% of the time does not save you money. Now, don't go sending me a whole bunch of email. I already caused this controversy, but you guys... The facts are the facts. When it's time. when you were put we in the, fled the country, <laughs> we, fled, we, we fled the country after that video came out. <laughs> uh, so just put right down how much time you spend, how much money you spend, and one thing we noticed over in Europe when we were there, it was really nice shopping at the small little markets. Quite frankly, you just spend a ton of money at the big superstores, and they're designed to do that. So anyway, unless you just really know for sure something is cheaper, I would not go and get a membership just for that. Okay. Karen's asking, do you have a standalone freezer? We have a side fridge freezer, and I've wondered if we should get a chest freezer to stock up on good deals. I do, and depending on how many people are in your family, I would. Um, I've had a freezer since Dave was a baby, so 16 years uh, before that. For the four of us, we just used our freezer in on the fridge. But after Dave came along, then we started doing more stocking. Well, we just had the money yeah. to buy a freezer then. Um, Prior to that, we wished that we'd had one. We just yeah. didn't have the budget for Any it. Any squash <laughs> recipes? Yes, I've got some zucchini and squash recipes. Go to livingonadime.com. In the top right corner is our search bar and look, type in squash. Or zucchini. Uh, How do you keep grapes from going bad when you get a lot? 
I have four kids that eat them. So they'll go through a bag of grapes easy in one day. But so, you can freeze them, right? Well, you can freeze them and have frozen grapes for a treat, but it's we a treat just if you defrost them. them and then they get yeah. lucky. Okay, yeah. So don't yeah. defrost them. If you can you explain how to uh, subscribe to the new channel? So go to uh, go to my new. If you guys want to do a giveaway, if I hit a thousand subscribers on my new healing scriptures and Bible verses I'm not channel, sure we'll get there. I don't know if we'll get there. We'll see then um, I will do another maybe... giveaway for some books. But you can just hit the little subscribe button if you if it's something that you're interested in, and we'll do a giveaway. Okay, Oops. next question. Sorry, I'll I was trying to see that. if I could. 885. 885? We only need 115? Oh. I pinned the comment on Facebook to, I think, the bottom of the thing, so that if you want to go see that, there it is. And on YouTube, I'm putting it in the comments also, but it's also in the description. Okay, so other things. Uh... <clears throat> uh, we already said that one. Cordelia just drove 100 miles round trip to the grocery shop. Any possibility you could share how you find deals on gluten free items? You don't buy specific. I don't buy right? special gluten free stuff. The Shh. only gluten free stuff I buy that's <clears throat> special is I will buy gluten free bread. I just look for it on clearance or sale. I will buy gluten free flour occasionally. So I've been really craving some banana bread, so I went ahead and bought some. But I maybe buy one bag of gluten-free flour a year. I just don't... It, okay. Don't make it so complicated, okay? I did the same thing when I first got sick. I totally understand. You're sick, your brain's not working, you don't want to have to figure it out. But just start with simple things like eating gluten-free oatmeal, eating chicken and rice. I see what you're doing. You may. Um, you can. Um, I eat things like stir fry, green chili with rice, uh, roast with vegetables and potatoes, those kinds of things. Really, I just basically just cut out the bread and that's it. So, so a few people are asking if um, do you, are you able? To, would you want to read the names again of the winners? Okay. Some people missed it earlier. Okay, I'll <laughs> read the names of the winners that we got to the 800 so far. Okay, Jennifer Horsecamp. Jane Bush, Tiffany J, Kathy Nix, Tanya Roller, Jessica Holden, H Hodgkins, Hodkinson, Sabrina Aguilera, she already sent me hers, White Picket Fence, Backyard Eden, Lucy Dutton, who was our first subscriber, and Monique Godbout. Okay, those are our <clears throat> winners. Thank you, everyone who subscribed. That is so wonderful. So Connie, along with a lot of other people, say how much they love your apron. Thank you. It's from Scotland. LaDiana thinks we should do a show on money conversion. No, because... People get confused anyway. Okay. So, well... Sorry, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> Alright, so part of this is going to be explained on September 9th. But that is not our audience. So we are not going to be doing videos on those kinds of things. But we're going to explain more of that on September 9th. So... Uh, let's see, more comments about that. I'm just drinking my tea. Did you collect tea recipes on your ship? No, but I collected tea. Here, you guys want to see? <laughs> okay, Dave. Okay, you want to see? Okay, so here we go. Can they see, <clears throat> Dave? Ugh. So, we've got Betty's. We've got Earl Grey from England. We've got... English breakfast from England. This I collected before, but it's Red Rose from Canada. And I got Ireland and more England. So wow, I'm you're, stocked up for a day or two. You're a tea enthusiast. Wow. I love tea. I absolutely love black tea. I, want I don't drink. like herbal tea as much. I drink herbal tea, but I like black tea the best. I wanted to bring more. Earl Grey back because the the Earl Grey in England is so much different. We can but, order it on Amazon. But we just uh, it was it was going to be really expensive to bring our bags back, so we yeah. pared down a lot of things before we left. Yeah. Uh, a number of people saying they were using your scripture videos to go to sleep Thank last you. night. Thank you, guys. I was impressed with how many people actually used it. I was so excited. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yay! All right, so. What was my favorite tea from my trip? Um, 
Betty's, and then there was a second one that's um, Taylor's of Harrington. Oh. Expensive tea actually makes a difference, but I did not get those teas for an expensive price. So, yeah. And of course, Mike's still the Earl Grey. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, Although yep. I was spoiled there. I was drinking it every yeah. day. So Jamie and I went out for our birthdays because I was gone all summer and her mom's been really sick. So we haven't been able to go out to dinner, celebrate our birthdays. So we went out yesterday and she got me this gift. Wow. So she got me these because she says the world needs tar, or because she says Tara needs more salt. Because <laughs> you're not salty enough. Because I'm not salty enough. <laughs> <laughs> so she got me a little LED uh, lamp that changes. And then she got me these cute little mugs. Life is all about plan B. And some days my life is only one tent away from a full blown circus. <laughs> That's not the truth. Thank you. That makes Jamie. me think of your Titanic quote. It is. The only difference between this place and the Titanic is the Titanic had a band. <laughs> that is our family motto. Uh, when is nap time scripture reading coming out? <laughs> oh, actually, I'm working on it. I, I am working on it. We have, we had a printer, <laughs> a major printer mess up. And so I'm having to help Dave ship books by going through and picking out all the books that are um, usable and all of them that's not. Darlene Thompson, what do you think of Harrods? I think it's my gold star shop in there. That's what Although, I think. Although we went all the way back into London to go there because she had seen an apron and when we got there the price was three times as high as she thought it was. I could not bring myself to pay $80 for so an apron. So she still didn't buy it. But she no, just... I mean, Harrods, what did I think of Harrods? I felt out of place. Because we're not... But then even... when we went back the second time there was like 5,000 tourists just on the bottom level alone. So I was like, oh, well, I'm not the only one. It was, I honestly was a little shocked at how many people were actually buying things like Prada purses and stuff like that. I was just, and $1,700 sheets. Like, can you afford that? So <laughs> I would sure? love to try $1,700 sheets to see if I actually sleep better on $1,700 sheets than my well, 1999 ones. It, but it's funny because looking at this stuff, I thought, well, that's pretty nice, but it's not 10 times as much as the similar one at yeah. the regular store. Nice. So yeah. No offense, Ellen, Harrods. Ellen, it was Taylor's of Harrogate, I think. Um, Stacy, I'm almost 30 with no cooking skills at all. And I just found your channel. My mind is blown. You don't want to know how much I spend on groceries a week. And you know what, Stacy? You can you are, change that. And you are totally why we're here. <laughs> so here's the thing. I wrote Dining on a Dime cookbook 20 years ago because I couldn't cook. My poor mother tried to teach me. I was a tomboy, didn't want to do it. But that's why I wrote Dining on a Dime because I took all the recipes that I wanted to learn that are easy foods to cook and did them. So that is in one book and that's why I did that. So yes. Woohoo! Val finally so, caught you live. So excited and happy belated birthday. Thank you. Yay. You didn't get to sing happy birthday to me live. No, but we, we sang happy birthday to you from the Champs-Élysées as we were looking at the... Dara's like, yeah, you can have it. It's like, okay. <laughs> uh, Tara found out that she's not as much of a traveler as, as no, she... No, I'm not as much as traveling with the family. I see. Actually, I think if you were still on that boat... Tracy, Harrods is vastly overpriced and I'm a Londoner. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Even though I think it was really cool. Thank you, all you happy belated birthday. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and lots um, of... Yeah, we'll just... Okay, Um. so... Any other questions before we go? I don't see a lot. Okay. So, did we hit did we hit a thousand subscribers on my other channel? I love the colors on this one. Um, did we get there? Nine hundred one. Nine hundred is nine tenths of a thousand. I need a thousand <laughs> though. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. If I reach a thousand subscribers, for all of you latecomers who have to watch it when you can't watch it live because we're on during dinner time, and I'm really sorry about that. Here's what I'll do. 
on Monday's show, mm -hmm. I'll do another giveaway if we hit a thousand subscribers. Does that sound good? Sure. I'll do two more books. So you only need a hundred more but between now and the end of yes. that show. I was going to do five books if we got a hundred by the end of the show today. Oh, here's a, an important question. Karen is asking, did you see the queen? I'm sure I did somehow. You mean the other queen? Yeah, the other queen. <laughs> the queen of England. I'm sure I did. Actually, it was funny because they were doing some um, big ambassador or somebody and they had all the pomp and circumstances and carriages and all the guards and everything and it was pretty cool. Yeah, we kept kind of stumbling upon things and we, we stumbled upon the changing of the guard yeah. and then we stayed yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Um, we are not having a sale for Labor Day, but if you guys wait, we will have one in the next little while. Why didn't you go to the City of Lights as well? What is that? Paris. Oh. She's... Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> just kidding. France has absolutely zero appeal to me. <laughs> Sorry. For all you people who but I make friends. up for it so <laughs> yeah I see absolutely no charm in France I know I'm probably the only person on the earth who does that thinks that but I see absolutely nothing in France I'm sorry so I didn't want to go <laughs> she didn't want to go and at that point I think she and the boys kind of wanted to just hang out and Ellie was saying she really wanted to go and I thought well I haven't been in a long time and I really yeah. Wanted to go too. So. Yeah. France is not my thing. So just Ellie and I went for that yeah. reason. It was actually uh, kind of nice breaking up everybody for a few days. Yeah. So that's it for questions. Okay. All <laughs> right, guys. So we are livingonadime.com. I like this jar best. For the moment. It looks like something from those old movies. <laughs> we are going to have a show on Labor Day. We are headed to the mountains with our friends, but we are planning on being back in time for the show. And we are going to be doing, I'm going to be answering, I'm trying to answer, I get emails, questions all the time, or questions on the show. I'm trying to pull some of those, and we're going to start answering more of those on the shows. And so I have a list of some started, but if you have questions you want to ask me, get them ready for the show, and we will try to answer them on Labor Day. So it's a Ask Us Anything and um, we are having some big changes come up on September 9th and actually in our family on September 7th. Ooh. And 8th. Talk about that. So we're going to talk about that Wait, on the 9th. What's on the 8th? I'll have to oh. ask you yes. after the show. 905, so. I'm hearing. Oh, 905. That's just not close enough. That wasn't a thousand. I need a thousand. I gotta have motivation. Actually, I have motivation anyway. So, you know me. 95 people yep. want a miraculous Yes, Tara has plenty of motivation. What we need is to be able to find people to help us, and then we would be producing so much stuff. If we had people to help us, the amount of contact, content I could throw out would absolutely be mind-boggling. <laughs> My brain never stops with ideas. Oh, Turret so. is wondering what day is that, Labor Day? That would be uh, Monday. Monday. <laughs> Monday is our Labor Day. How are you doing, Turret? I was thinking of you today as it was 95 degrees, wishing I was back there in the beautiful rain. It was so nice. So... Yay. I haven't even told Jamie what. Oh. What did I not tell Jamie? <laughs> What's changing? What's different? What's the big announcement? Well, I thought I told her. Maybe not. I don't know who I've told and who I haven't. So anyway. Alright guys, please like, subscribe, and share. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Our Dining on a Dime cookbooks are back in stock. Go grab one today. Yeah, it'll save you a lot. And if we don't see you Monday, have a great Labor Day in the United States. Yes. And if you're not in the United States, have a great Monday. Bye. Maybe a Labor Day out of the United States. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a great night. So do they celebrate the 4th of July in England? They have it. Well, or do they have the 4th of July in England? I was surprised more England? people celebrated it than I anticipated. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Okay, ready? <laughs> sure. Mm. <laughs>